Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In the last tutorial I showed you an 8-way movement. In this tutorial we will combine this with a key to lock the focus on an NPC like this so that we keep the rotation to this NPC. We can easily unlock the focus by pressing the key again and lock the focus on another NPC in the world like we want. Great! So let's go! The first thing we need is an NPC. For that we just copy and paste our third person character and call this NPC. Let's open this up and delete everything inside here as well as the camera bomb and the photo camera. And then we just place the NPC inside the world, maybe rotate it and that's basically it. Let's open up our third person character from the last tutorial. Of course, link is in the description where we have our F key where we switch the orientation mode to switch between the normal movement and the 8-way movement. Let's start up with creating two new variables. The first one will be the focus and the second one will be focus on and this is just an NPC object reference. Compile and save this. Next we need a new function called lock focus. We start up with get actor eyes viewpoint. So this is on eye height, the location and the rotation. Then we get the forward vector. From the return value we say multiply, right click to float. Multiply this by 500 here, for example. Then we go from lock focus and say sphere, trace for object. Then we go from the out location, this is the start. Again, add the location down here, like this, and this is the end. I would recommend the radius of 250 here. Then we go from the object types, pull this out here and say make array. In this way we can choose what the sphere should tracking. In this case, of course, the pawn. Next, we need a branch to ask if we really hitting something. Then we go from the out hit and want to break the hit result. And now we can get every information from the actor that we hitting. So we take the actor, the hit actor and cast to our NPC. Like this, of course on true. Then we pull out the focus on and want to set it to the NPC. We take out the character movement. Let's go back to our event graph because we need the part up here. So let's just cut it out here and put it inside the function, connect it and at the end we just want to set the focus boolean to true. So we are done here with the lock focus function. Of course we need another function for loose focus. This is much easier. We go back to our event graph, take this part here, cut it out, go to the loose focus, put it right here. Want to set it of course. And then we want to set the focus to false. So we are done here with the functions. We go here to the F key. On A we want to lock the focus. On B we want to lose the focus. The last part is a tick event where we control the rotation of the character. So we take the event tick. We want to ask if we focus something with the branch. Then we take out the focus on variable. We get the actor location of the NPC. As well we get the actor location of the player itself. And then we say find look at rotation. This is of course the target. Then we say right click split structure pin. We check is the focus on valid with is valid with a question mark on true. We want to execute it. And then we set the actor rotation of the player. 
right click, split structure pin. We will set all three values, get the player controller, and want to set the controller rotation as well. Otherwise, the rotation will snap always back. Then we split structure pin and only want to set the Z value here. I would also recommend to put the pitch on minus 15. You can play around with this value here. And that's it. Compile and save this. Let's see if this works. We hit play. Let's walk to this NPC and press F. We lock the view on the NPC here, can move around, press F again, we unlock it. Let's copy and paste this NPC, try this again, press F, works pretty good, unlock it, press F again, works as well. If you want to see how it works, Let's go back to our log focus function. We can go to the sphere trace. And if you want, you can activate the for duration of the debug. In this way, you can really see what it does. When we press F, we shoot out this view here. And when we press F, you can see it hits the porn. Every time we press F, like this one. Great. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know. And yeah, goodbye.